He is a big boy. Go. <laughs> this is his booty. Merry Christmas Eve! I can't believe it's already the end of 2017. Just finished my second quarter of my third year and this year went by so fast. Second year is literally like the year from hell. It was the worst year of naturopathic medical school in my opinion. It is a lot of information to take in. You're learning diseases for every body system your second year. Some of their classes are still the same as first year, just a little more advanced, and that includes naturopathic theory and practice. You then have physical exam diagnosis lab, which is just a more in-depth clinical skills lab. You also have physical medicine lab, and in your second year, you start to do more of like postural assessments, and you learn things like muscle energy technique and spinal manipulation. You start to learn about the diseases, and you're taking classes like pathology, immunology, microbiology, and you even start to learn about like the pharmaceutical drugs in pharmacology and botanical medicine you learn about all the herbs and you also have a lab for that class you're actually making like little concoctions some teas salves lotions you're also taking a class called naturopathic clinical diagnosis with that you also have a lab and we actually called it stab lab even though it is correctly known as clinical naturopathic diagnosis lab and in that class you just perform venipuncture on your classmates which is kind of scary especially if no one has ever poked anyone before or drawn blood we use like uh vacutainers butterfly needles then syringes in that lab, we also perform diagnostic tests and we learn how to do a urinalysis, H. pylori test for instance, strep test, a lot of diagnostic tests we learn how to do in that lab. So I feel like the major milestones in your second year are made in physical exam diagnosis lab because we have to perform a male and female physical exam on a real person. Yes, not your classmates, thank goodness, but a real person who comes in and you have to perform a digital rectal exam on a male and a full genital exam. And with the female exam, you use a speculum and you perform like a pap smear and then you also do a bimanual palpation of the ovaries and the uterus. I was more scared for the female exam than the male exam. I don't know why. I think it's just because I am a female and I know how female exams goes. All my ladies out there, if you've ever had a pap smear, you know what I'm talking about. And then the next big milestone in your second year is the clinic entry exam. I've talked about this in one of my other videos. Clinic entry exam is the exam that you need to pass your second year before you can become a student clinician in your third year. So you get this patient who is just an actor or an actress and they come in with a cheap complaint and basically you have to do a full patient intake. You can use old cards to ask the questions just to get like a, a medical history from them and then you're supposed to perform two physical exams that are pertinent to the chief complaint and then you have to give your differential diagnosis to the proctor who's also in the room and that is also the time when you can ask for any additional lab work that you want to see and after you do all of that you are taken to one of the like little computer labs in the clinic and you have to chart so you're given 25 minutes and you just do a soap note chart your findings and this is why physical exam diagnosis lab is so important just remember like the, how to chart the normal findings that way, when you see or hear whatever they tell you is abnormal, like you'll just know what to do. So if you aren't familiar with SOAP note, SOAP stands for subjective information about the patient, then you do O is objective information, A is assessment, and P is plan. Oh, another class we also have that I forgot to mention. Um, or that we still have our second year is integrated case studies and in integrated case studies you just practice charting like with a soap note format so you don't really go over like assessment and plan yet which kind of sucks because I feel like we should be learning how to do that our second year if we have to do that in the clinic entry exam but I mean given that we're learning like um, herbs and how to use them medicinally that's what i personally did i just used that in my plan for treatment for the patient that i had but okay it is what it is 
once you pass clinic entry exam, it's really like, it sounds scary. And I know all of my classmates, like we were all freaking out. I was freaking out a lot. I was so nervous because I was just like, wanted to be as prepared as possible. It'll be easier than what you thought it would be like. But yeah, second year is non-stop information, non-stop exams, a lot of writing because we also have the counseling classes. So from first year, you take all the counseling skills that you've learned and you kind of build upon them. This is when you start to actually like implement the skills with like real life interaction. So for instance, we have to do like this interview with a stranger outside of class and record it and then you watch it in your little lab section and if you're an introvert it's not it's not the greatest thing but <laughs> it'll be okay and you also have clinical observation um, just instead of 20 hours you have to do 40 hours of observation and you will complete 20 hours in like one quarter and then you'll complete another 20 hours in another quarter so yeah I know the background is a little different than what I usually do. That's because I'm at my parents for Christmas and I have my first fur baby. He is a big boy. <laughs> this is his booty. His name is Ranger and he's sitting on my lap right now. <laughs> he's so happy. Hello. Good boy. Say hi. Say hi. All right, guys, that is all I have for you today. Stay tuned for next Sunday. Um, I think Sundays are pretty much the day where I post a new video every week. And as always, if you like this video, please hit the little thumbs up below. And if you're liking my videos and want to stay up to date, please hit the subscribe button down below. I hope you guys have a good Christmas, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.